Hey guys, it's Evange. So today I'm going to show you how to make bloomers. This is a really, really easy project. Um, it took me about an hour um, and I only used about $3 worth of fabric. So uh, yeah, definitely this is a really easy project for beginners and what you have is, you know, a really, really cute pair of bloomers. So uh, keep watching for the tutorial and you can also visit my website www.evangesews.com for patterns and step-by-step -step instructions. First thing you need to do is take some measurements. You're going to need the measurement from your natural waist to about just above your knee. Um, and if you're unsure where to find your natural waist, just take a rubber band or elastic or something and put it around your waist and it'll naturally gravitate to the smallest point. But on me, I know pretty well where that is. So I'm just going to measure from here to approximately above my knee. And that's going to be 20 inches on me. Could be different on you. Uh, then I'm going to add an extra two inches for ease and an extra two inches for my waistband allowance on the top edge of the fabric and then on the bottom of the edge of the fabric I also want two inches of ease and two inches for um, the uh, elastic casing to go through. So I'm going to cut my strip of fabric a total of 28 uh, inches long which will be the measurement from your waist to your knee plus a total of eight inches. And then the fabric I'm using, it's just kind of a standard broadcloth type fabric and it comes uh, in 45 inch width. Um, all fabric comes standard either in 45 inch width or um, 60 inch width. And the width of your fabric needs to be a minimum of the circumference of your thigh. So the circumference of the thigh on me about 24 inches. So 24 inches is well within 45 inches. So I'm fine. If the circumference of your thigh is, for example, more than 40 inches, I'd say use 60 inch wide fabric or use multiple panels of fabric. Um, if you're making this for like a kid or you're really, really skinny, you might want to cut down the, um, the width of the 45 inch fabric and just have it be smaller um, because uh, you just have too much poof, too much ease. Um, but for a normal person, 45 inch fabric comes standard, it's the perfect size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two strips of fabric. Um, they're gonna be 45 inches wide and then the length of each strip will be 28 inches which is the, the width of from your waist to above your knee plus eight inches. So I've laid out my fabric with one piece on top of the other and then I folded it in half. Make sure all the corners, all the edges line up because you're going to be uh, measuring and cutting this together. And if one piece is like um, not lined up properly, then your pattern is going to be like kind of messed up. Okay, so once you've got it laid out like that, you're going to measure from like your crotch to just above your knee. And on me, that's about 12 inches. But remember, there's two inches for ease and then two inches for hem allowance. So I'm going to measure 16 inches from the bottom of the fabric and I'm just going to mark it off. Then on this top edge, the minimum amount of fabric left behind after you cut out your curve must be at least equal to your hip measurement because the um, bloomers are going to pull on over your hips. So. Take your hip measurement and divide by four and then kind of measure that out on here. This is the minimum amount of fabric that I can leave. Um, however, I'm gonna go in just a couple inches more just for ease, okay? So I've got this point here and this point here. I wanna draw a curve from here to here. If you're not comfortable sketching in curves by hand, just use a French curve, but I find it doesn't really make a difference. So you can see, there's my line. I'm just gonna cut that out. Okay, you see how it's starting to look like a pants pattern piece? And I'm gonna open this up, and then I'm going to sew along here, and I'm gonna sew along here. Then once these two hems have been sewn, you just kind of open it up and align the bottom and then sew along here. 
If you've done everything right, at this point you should basically have a giant pair of shorts. Uh, and then what you need to do is uh, take your elastic, and my elastic is one inch wide, waistband elastic, and you're going to fold over the top and iron it um, to fit that waistband elastic, so an inch wide, and then fold it over again and iron that. So what you're going to do is you're basically creating a casing for the elastic and then you're just going to sew along here, leave about a two inch opening to actually feed your elastic through. Um, but yeah, you just uh, fold it over twice to create a casing and then sew it down. Ta-da! So what you then need to do is take your elastic, put it around your waist, make it about as snug as you'd like it to be, and then cut it off. Okay, so mine's gonna be about that long. And uh, put a pin in it. And then you just need to feed this through the opening. Once the entire thing has been fed through, you just wanna overlap these a tiny bit, sew them together. Um, just make sure there's no twists or anything in the elastic and then you want to sew your casing shut. And the waistband is done. If you want to at this point, you can just, you know, hem the bottom and you'd have basically shorts, but to make bloomers, you're going to add elastic to the bottom. So you just basically repeat the same process that you did on the top. Um, you're going to uh, fold it over twice, iron it, sew it to make a casing, insert your elastic, sew the elastic into a loop, close up your casing, and that's more or less it. Ta-da! I know what you're thinking, these look ridiculous, but seriously, they're bloomers. What were you expecting? Um, you can kind of use these to wear under a Lolita or Heim style skirt. Um, the um, gathering at the waist will kind of help to poof the skirt out a bit. I know this isn't a petticoat, but it will kind of help to shape it because it's got quite a bit of fullness in it. Um, also, you know, if your skirt accidentally comes up, um, you're going to stay modest. No one's going to see your underwear, or I guess this is underwear. But anyway, uh, that's it. Um, super, super easy, so definitely try it. Um, if you're looking for like Victorian undergarments, you're just not gonna find them, you have to make them. And it's, it's so easy to do on your own. Um, took me like an hour maybe, and I mean, these are so much fun. If you made these longer, they could be like hammer pants. Oh no, hammer pants are different. I'll do hammer pants in the future, but um, yeah, these are awesome.